so this is the ear pinna you can see this is the helix this is the anti helix the y shape this is the tragus this is the anti tragus these are the muscles these are vestigial muscles in humans uh, in animals these muscles work so you can see like cow flap there in the ear pinna cow can so if we remove the ear uh, this ear pinna this is a cartilaginous structure this is the lobule so then we go into the this is the external auditory meatus the inside uh, opening of the opening in the ear pinna then as we go inside this is we open this this is the inner ear and inside this this is the middle ear so in the first inner ear this, these are the semicircular canals semicircular canals uh, there are three semicircular canals uh, which help in uh, balancing uh, static balancing and dynamic balancing and this is the cochlea cochlea and this is the vestibulo cochlear nerve going through this structure if we open the cochlea inside see we can see the scala vestibuli scala media and scala tympani the three layers and if we try to remove the middle ear we can see the opening and this this is the uh, tympanic membrane and tymp from tympanic membranes you can see the uh, bones malleus incus and stapes this is the smallest bone in the human body the stapes this is connected to the oval window in the cochlea so like whenever the sound vibrations comes from external auditory meatus it hits the tympanic membrane the tympanic membrane vibrates uh, then uh, the vibration uh, continues to the malleus incus and stapes stapes then vibrates the fluid in the cochlea and that uh, vibrates the organ of cotti hair cells and that cells and sends a nerve signal and the brain interpret uh, it as sound that's it